Hey, what's up everybody? Bringing you a review of the sounds of the SH Figarts Old Man Luke from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Let's get started. First and foremost, I want to start by saying this is web shop, and the reason why I point it out is because Star Wars fans don't seem to know that stuff is kind of all over the place with them. So yeah, it's web shop. But um, yeah, anyway, let's get started. The figure is actually really nice. I think it has a really nice sculpt of Mark Hamill. It's done really well. It has a stoic face. You don't get any other expressions with him. Um, I don't think there's really a need to. But if you want it more, you're absolutely not going to get it. You have just one head sculpt. It's done actually really nice. And let's see if we can actually point out how nice it is. As you see, like from looking from most angles, it's not the super glossy stuff. It's more matted down to match the color of the grays and yellows and mixed with the blondes. Just a really nice look to it. Definitely has the Mark Hamill old man look to it. It's really nice. Now, in terms of what he can do action figure wise, let's get to that. As you can see, there's going to be a coat. It kind of gets in the way, but it also does it in the same time. So it's hard to explain, but in terms of ab crunch, it's there in the forward motion, like with most Star Wars figures. It's down at the waist only. There's none at the upper torso. The arms are on a butterfly joint that can rotate out like this. So you can make them flex if you wanted to, you know, flex, flex. But it's on a singular joint like most of the other Star Wars. And mine's actually pretty squeaky. So my joints are actually pretty tight. And you can rotate it about this far. So as you can see, you'll get a little bit more than an L shape out of it. What's actually very different about this Luke, uh, and it's worth pointing out for me, for me, is that he actually comes with a different type of ball joint. His is a much larger ball joint for some apparent reason. Why? I don't know, but it's not compatible if you want to swap hands with him. So you'll have to do some modding with that. Um, if you're not a guy of modding and you're scared, I understand totally. But uh, he actually comes with different types of ball joints. And that, for me, that's a little weird, at least to me. As far as leg articulation, the waist will actually come up because this is soft plastic, so you can actually bring the leg all the way up. You can actually extend it out if you really wanted to as well, too. And you can actually do, oop, pop the joint out, being a little too far range. <laughs> but as you can see, you can also do a crouching down pose if you wanted to as well. So Luke actually has an extended range of motion that allows you to do the, just the basics with it. You can even sit down or cross your legs with it if you wanted to. So Luke can do all the basic stuff as well as do some Jedi stances because he has decent ankle pivot. Not a lot, but it's decent enough that it folds out and folds forward and there's toe pivot as well. So while he can't do any action stuff, we can have him look like the old man that he is and run away, right? Let's fix this a little. Now, as far as the head sculpt goes, it actually can rotate up and down because I just forgot to point that out before. So you actually get a nice... Ring. Ooh. Well, that's a first. One that actually hit the screen. <laughs> as you can see here, it has some decent range, but the hood is actually going to get in your way a bit. So you just got to keep that in mind. As you can see, I just popped out forward towards you. He's breaking the fourth wall at least. So let's leave him like that as we go over some of the stuff that he comes with. As you can see, he doesn't come with much, like I said before, because you'll have a tiny necklace piece that's given to you. And it's really hard to focus on because it's so small, but detail is there it's really nice then you'll actually get the compass that led to him in a closed version as well as an opened version next up you will get two open hands so you get open hands and you actually get uh the closed fist and that's it but one of the things i want to point out oops, for those of you that want to hold lightsabers with him or do anything that uh requires action shots with him it is totally, totally possible for him to hold the lightsaber that comes with Ray, And it's very simple because what you'll do is on the open palm, it actually fits in the open palm where he can hold it just like this. So you can actually hold it really well. All you have to do is make sure you don't warp your hand with excessive amounts of heat and you'll actually be able to hold your lightsaber. So this is pretty cool. So even if you can't, you can find a way around it and then pretty much that's what you can do. Real quick, I want to point out the swapping accessory for the hood up. What you're going to do is you're going to take the head off. That's why mine came off very easily. What you're going to do is you're going to pop the head inside of the hood that's up. And then just pop the head on and voila. Now you have hooded look. The range of motion should only be hindered by the hood getting in the way. You can rotate that left or right. But as you can see here, if it's raining out, you can put your hood up. Really cool stuff if you ask me, but, you know, 
keep it simple and to the point with Luke. And that's the, pretty much what they did movie-wise. Instead of uh, going out of their way and giving us the extra little bit, they didn't. But they gave us this, and I'm happy with it. <clears throat> Real quick, I want to point out size comparison with other Star Wars figures. Oop. Here's Luke next to Rey. She's about the same size as him. But just in case you can't see it. She might actually be a little taller than him. <laughs> Here he is next to the Stormtrooper, who he is legitimately smaller than. Here he is next to Kylo and Rey, who he is definitely shorter than. So there's that. He's much smaller than Kylo. Here he is next to Phasma, which, as you know, she's around the same height as Kylo, and she is definitely taller than him. Now we're going to size him up with some other characters from other lines, like an articulated Icon's Ninja. We'll even size him up with the old version of himself. So as you can see, he hasn't grown much. If anything, he's shrunken with age because now he's an old hermit. Then we're going to compare him to an SHF Kamen Rider. Next up, 1000 Toys Synthetic Carb. Really nice size with him because, you know, it's actually showing him getting smaller with age like most older folk do. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's just the truth of the situation. And then last but not least, we're going to compare him to a Mezco. It'll be a Batman as usual. That's what I've been using a lot lately. So size-wise, he is very, very tiny. I like it, though. I know some people don't, but I'm enjoying it. Either way, it's a really nice figure, but it also is very simple. If you are not a hardcore Star Wars fan, I wouldn't recommend you get it for it, but, you know, that's the deal of it. In the meantime, guys, hope you found it informative. Hope I kept it short and sweet. And as usual, do good, be good, continue to drink your water. Later.